Hi. Want to see what I've been working on? This is how it ends. So that's kind of where it resolves at the coda, but I thought uh, it might be fun if I broke down a couple of things, um, especially in the, I'm quite pleased with how these backing vocals, um, I'm going to slow these up. Um, so there's five vocals at the end. We have... Backing vocals one, two, and three. Primary vocal and secondary vocal. Let's just solo those up. Dreaming not without a heavy toe. When did we get so at the big black charcoal? How did this all begin? Well, I haven't had a lot of time. I've been working 80 plus hours per week at my um, day job, which has been pretty re rewarding um, in the health industry. So in my spare time, I've just been experimenting with sound design. Sound design, just kind of coming up with kind of cool sounding instruments and um, one of my favorites is uh, my buddy Dave Spears has this Mellotron. And um, let me just solo it up without any effects. It's, uh, I was started with this like patch for a, it sounds like a church organ, right? Nothing spectacular or especially interesting, but I've been messing around with creating sort of warmth, adding sound or a noise. Delivered. I promise to tell you if... So let's just sell that. Um, what I did was I first added a little bit of hiss. Um, I'll exaggerate it here some pink noise and what happens is when you add the hiss along with this other new favorite toy of mine by output movement pull that up So you can automate these filters and basically have four envelopes manipulating a filter, a reverb, panning, but it's really this filter that's the, the interesting thing. It kind of gives it the, it's like you're, you're automating the draw bar bars being pulled, but it's a, a lot more fluid and flexible using this. So I thought it was cool with the noise and this filter. So I said, what am I going to do with this? And I have a real dry drum kit, real simple. I started with this drum kit thinking, all right, this is just going to be a placeholder for um, what's going to be a more complicated, interesting part later. But I en ended up loving it so much. Here, here's the uh, bus of the drums. Real dry. You can hear it's dry in here. And there's lots of, it's a loose snare, and you can hear the sympathetic ring, uh, rattling of the snares when the kick hits, and I, I love that. It's kind of 
lo-fi in a way um simple so uh keeping with the sound design idea i was like okay um let me mess around another cool real free it's a free um well i should say it's donation where helm um i have a uh free synth called helm and i just all i did was pull in a sine wave and uh set the envelope to sort of pitch down over time let me solo that and let you hear that and uh it's like i could probably do something with this with those three things and uh just started improvising some words. I believe in your moving dance with sleight of hand then, uh, that grabs and then retrieves me. Not without a heavy toe. Doubled up the vocal here. See, uh, right in during the chorus. Retrieves me, not without a heavy toe. No, when did we Hand get slightly so left and right. How do I have a big black charcoal soul? So then I said, all right, this needs pedal steel. So, uh, it actually starts out with pedal steel. Uh, let's unsolo everything. This is how it begins. interesting to you it's uh oh yeah it's uh, coming out on um june 5th if you're interested in hearing the whole thing <laughs> 